Hey YouTube, let's listen to a piece I just put together. Yeah. There it is. And oh, you're still here. Let me tell you some more about this piece. I'll start with saying how I put it together. Let's solo the first track and display the plugin for Beatmaker. It's over here. Oh, wait, you may not be able to see that. It's a separate window. OK, I'll just tell you. This is, let's scroll back to the beginning of the track. This is. Beatmaker by Splice, and I just used a preset sound and a preset MIDI loop, so let's listen to that. Cool. Then right away I could hear a bass under that, so let me turn off a bunch of channels and then only leave on the ones that I want. Pardon my phone. Okay, so I added, I heard this bass line under it, so I added that. Here goes. Cool. And then I heard a rhythm over it and wrote some chords to go along with that bass line. That brought it this far. Let's listen to that. Ba, ba, ba. As you can hear there, I brought the bass to a different place to follow this melody I was hearing in the in the chords. Let's continue listening with that. Cool. Then I added in a synth lead sound which I'll add, I'll add to the mix for you now. Here's what that sounds like. And that was cool, but it was feeling a little empty, so I added in a pad. Here's that. And that nice? Isn't that pad nice?
Somewhere along the way, I also got feedback from my friends in Assembly Sounds that the bass, I mean, the drums were a little, little small sounding. So I took a newbie move and I just added some more kits to it. Here's, those, here's the sound of the whole track with those three kits together. And let's hear how it sounds with just the original kit. And now put in both kits. Yeah, it fills it out a little bit, but it's still not as big as I would like. Now at this point in developing the track, I had a totally different song structure, which I won't take the time to describe now. But again, my friends in Assembly Sound said, well, or like encouraged me or inspired me to put it together in a verse hook structure. And that's what this color coding is about. Here's, um, if you look here, I've got 16 bars for a verse and then a one bar, like just pause, and then eight bars for a hook. Here's the, let's listen in at the, as the hook starts. Notice how the drums drop out, the synth drops out, even the pad drops out for the first part of this. And we get a totally different sound, so it becomes sonically obvious that, hey, we're in a different section of the piece. And now it's about to come to the end of that and back into the verse with the full orchestration. There it is, back into the verse. Oh, hey, you're still here. If you are, please drop a comment below letting me know that you're enjoying this. Let's listen through to the piece one more time and then I'll call it a day on this video. Okay, that's the track. If you're still here, thank you so, so much for watching. Please leave a comment or subscribe or do some other of those things that the YouTube algorithm loves. Thanks for watching. Thank you Ableton Live. Thank you Webcam. Thank you Mike. Thank you audience. May you be well and goodbye.